In this video, it's our last day sailing as we lead an eight-boat flotilla through the Abaco Island chain in the Bahamas, and it's a good one. We go to Tahiti Beach and have a great time at the sandbar. All right, well, we had a fun, I, I, I was uh, in bed early, but I can't say that about everybody. Okay, I, I feel called out. <laughs> no, you had fun though. So cheers, there cheers you go. All right, uh, it's our last full day on the water. We're about to, we're gonna put the mainsail up while at anchor, because uh, there's nobody around us. And then we're gonna sail a couple hours over to Tahiti Beach, hang out, and then uh, one more day. It was time to start the motors and get ready to sail. Put the main up while you're still on the mooring or at anchor, because you know, you're holding straight into the wind. You know, the thing is, like once you get it up, you tend to kind of sail side to side a little bit on your mooring or your anchors. So you want to make sure there's not any boats too close to the side. So we're here alone, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And I already opened up the reefing line because there's not as much wind today. Just got to watch the top of the sail to make sure it doesn't catch the lazy jack line. So I waited for it to clear. first started sailing like seven years ago doing this, like it was a rarity to have an electric winch. Now I couldn't imagine doing it without it. I was sitting there grinding on that for about 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Now we can uh, start pulling up anchor. All right. Uh, Work your magic. Took a bite, took a bite, and now I'm filled up. I don't know where you are tonight. Cause you're right, cause you're right. I've been starving and now I'm... So. I know that we're gonna sail that way downwind, so I'm gonna turn out this way so that the wind's on the correct side of the sail so we don't have to jive through it. I mean, you can jive, it's just... Why work harder? Yeah, why work harder? Makes sense. Yeah. Why do you sound so hoarse? Because this just week kidding. has been a, not, a little bit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. These tiny little rudders just don't do Good job, Amanda. Thank you. <laughs> All right, not bad. Doing seven knots on 16 knots of breeze. I'll take it. We still got a we got a little bit of reef in the in the headsail, so about I don't know a quarter. So uh, I mean, we don't really need it. It's only 16, but our parents up to 18, and then you know be reefing at 20. So why not just be prepared anyway? But uh, we got about two hours or so down to uh, Elbow Key and uh, hang out at the beach, figure shit out. Cheers. Cheers. This was our last full day of sailing in our Navigarv eight boat flotilla in the Bahamas. We were leading eight catamarans full of our patrons and viewers. Hey guys, a couple quick things here and we'll get right back to the video, but it's kind of cool news. Uh, you can see some of it right here. We've got merch, we got new hats, I got this hoodie. Uh, we got a lot of shirts, we got UV shirts, all that stuff. Uh, so go to our website, sailingdoodles.com, you click the merch tab and you can find all the cool stuff we have. It's all the new designs. I'm really excited about it. I really like the quality too, it's pretty nice. Uh, also, the next Sailing Doodles Flotilla with Navigar is January 29th through February 5th. That's seven nights in the British Virgin Islands. We have nine boats, nine catamarans. Uh, if you have a group of friends and you want to get your own boat and charter out the whole boat, you can do that. Plus, we're offering about half the boats by the cabin. So if you don't have enough people to fill up a boat but you still want to go, you can get a cabin and just pay just for the cabin. And uh, you know what? We've done this before in previous flotillas and the people always got along really well and they ended up coming back on the next flotilla and the whole group that just were randomly put together got their own boat. So it's freezing out here. I'm going back inside and you're going back to the video. So click the link in the description for a link to the Navigar Sailing News Flotilla and the BBI in January. We just dropped the sails and the good news is that Thirsty Cuda is here at Tahiti Beach. So you guys are in for a treat. I'm it's excited. A, yeah. It, I've already lost my voice enough. It's just, it, tomorrow my voice is gonna be dog shit. Yeah, but you've talked this up so much and we've been here so many times and I've just been waiting for it. I feel like it can't be overhyped enough. Yeah. Yeah, well, you've I never mean, been here drinking, though. Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have. I <laughs> know, I'm just Oh, yeah, well, I mean, uh, <laughs> I haven't. I have, I, if I did drink, I've been here with people. Right, 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 right. That's what I meant. Are you excited? I'm super excited. Cool, this is going to be fun. I like this place. My voice is going to be dog poop tomorrow, but whatever. It's a cool little bar, floating bar. You got food, music, booze. It's all you need. Excited. Right, that's a I good think time. there's bikini requirements. I, oh. I, I know, I'm getting there. All right. Tahiti Beach is a beautiful white sandbar 
and it was the opening day for the floating bar and restaurant called Thirsty Kuda. I think they're both good. Right here. Um, so, yeah, we're going to head into third. Everybody's kind of snacking right now, so we're done with that. We're going to head in. I'm not going to take this camera that has a good audio because, well, that's very dangerous. Uh, so, taking the GoPro. So, if the audio sucks, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. It is what it is. Yeah, because when it normally, if it's not too windy, it's not too bad on the GoPro, but it's pretty windy, so. We'll make sure to not have any fun conversations yeah. at all. <laughs> so that way you don't miss anything. Um, we'll yeah. just show a lot of fun. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> we'll all be mutes and just like dance yeah. around. Dance around. That's well, <laughs> I mean, never mind. By the way, guys, uh, our patrons and channel members get access to our live tracker. So it just runs whenever we're sailing. We've sailed 186.2 miles on this trip. So uh, there's a link down to patreon.com slash sailing noodles where you can click the join there to become a member. And, uh, you know, Check out our track. It goes all the way back like seven years when we crossed the South Pacific. So if you want to look at all those old, tra old tracks. So thank you guys for being patrons. It's mostly sparkling water. Is it mostly? Yes, it's mostly sparkling water. <laughs> I promise. I don't see those Miley Cyrus videos where it's like, she's like, and then there's like a seal or something. Like <laughs> the journey is usually the part that you remember anyways. It's mostly right sparkling water. It looks like piss. That's what he was doing over there. This is how he gets us to stop taking shots. It's doodle piss. It's, that's the name of the shot. It's doodle piss. 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 It's Everybody gets a, a train, a sunscreen a, a train? A sunscreen chain. Oh my god. You gotta protect from the sun. Yeah. You can never be too careful. Although it does look like somebody's been beating you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> don't look. <laughs> I'm fine, I swear, I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like a hand mark there, but I don't know. <laughs> but no, yeah, I mean, Bobby, it, keep your hands yeah. to yourself. No, the, the problem is, if you look at like almost all the girls' feet, like it's the table. Everybody bumps it, it, and then, you know, yeah. It's a boat. All right, we are loading up. Here we go. Needless to say, we had a great time at Tahiti Beach hanging out with all our patrons and viewers. All right, we are getting off the dock. Or not off the dock, get off the anchor. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. go. Start motor turned off again? Yeah, so like when I hit forward, we just kicked left. Wow, I can't see. A f <laughs> Every time he gets me. Don't Ahoy. <laughs> it was only a couple miles north to the protected bay of Hopetown. Hopetown has the last lighthouse in the Bahamas powered by kerosene. Inside the bay, there's lots of moorings and it's protected in 360 degrees. Obviously, the Thirsty Cuda knew where the party was because they came here and caught a boring right in front of us. That answers that question. We wondered if they uh, took it all the way back or not, but so they do. All right. Are the cats herded? Let's do this. The cats Let's go. are herded, kind of. We're missing one cat. We're missing one cat. Okay, Opening. that's enough. That's enough. That's enough of that one. That's, a, that's enough of that that's one. That's what my voice sounds like now. <laughs> Are you cold? Can you, can you see? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> I don't know. Y'all just miss Bobby eat shit. 
I'm just kidding. I did not eat shit. <laughs> you have to pay me so much money to eat shit. I didn't, um... That was a joke. I actually I didn't never... see anything. I just heard a noise. I assumed. You know what assuming does? Makes an ass out of you. You. <laughs> and her. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We headed over to the ferry dock to catch a taxi. You want to know the party crew here? This is the party crew. Coming in hot. Terrible sunset. Just kidding. We loaded up in the van and headed to a great spot for sunset and dinner called Firefly. No, these are on still. These won't come off tonight. I mean, I can if you want. They can if you want. I mean, woo! No. So I just heard that uh, the thirsty oh cougar oh oh broke God. loose from the morning. Oh so they, were more, they were more directly in front of us. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We're gonna come back. So like no one said. No, Marquise just went back to go check it out. And thank you, Bobby, for putting this together and for leading us around and. Got a little token of uh, appreciation for you. Oh, Cheesy wow. T-shirt. Wow. A corny T-shirt. I like oh it. Oh my nice. god, I love that. <laughs> anyway, I hope it fits. All right. Oh. Well, Keith, thank you so much. And a something for Dakota here. Oh. Yeah, like that's true. <laughs> At the same time, I let him think he's always right. right. Pre appreciate it, Keith. Thanks for coming out. And uh, he's the patron that won the free drawing. Just like we have our returning patrons over hey. here. We have Kevin and Sabrina. Yes, hope to be back. And we right. love them. Yeah, great we people. We do love them a lot. So, guys, it's been a great trip. Thank you all for coming out. I really appreciate it. And, uh, I mean, we're already planning on the next one. People are already asking, like, when's the next one? Well, I'll work on it soon. We'll see. But, guys, thank you so much. Cheers to you, and we're going to have a great night. Cheers, Bobby. Cheers. Cheers. Where's the next one? Uh, well, BBI in, like, February, maybe, and then uh, the Med in the summer. Like, either Mallorca or Croatia. We had a great night and dinner with the whole flotilla. It is a Halloween party. Look. <laughs> Prizes for the best costume and free drinks for people in costume. Why did we not dress up? After dinner, we headed to Captain Jack's. Early, we're moving. My voice, I can't even talk. We were up early and moving back to the charter base at Marsh Harbor because we had to be off the boats by 10 a.m. Hello. Uh, last day, and I can't wait to see the before pictures again. Things are a little ragged now. We're doing our best. Should be at the uh, a little marina in um, about probably 20 minutes and uh, we'll see how we go getting this boat turned back in. I think we're doing great. <laughs> All right guys, I'm packing the camera away. Sounds awful. We got everything <laughs> I, just, back I just squeak when I talk now. <laughs> I mean, I, my voice doesn't sound much better. So. <laughs> All right, well it was fun having you guys on. Thank you so much, Keith, for coming out. Thanks for being a patron. Yeah, I appreciate uh, it. It's the time yeah. of my life. All right, thank next you. Right, we'll do another one. And he's already got the bug. Now he's asking, hey, when's the next one? <laughs> so thank you guys for coming out, too. Good to see you again. Really had a nice time. Thanks for yeah. having us. All right, good to meet you. You too. All righty. And thanks for coming, Dakota. Of course. Have fun in Thailand. All righty. All right, uh, so check out Flying Doodles. Dakota yes. is the host of that. So go, go watch my videos. There you go. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Dakota. I'm a certified flight instructor, and this is a Skylane 182 Turbo. This beautiful airplane is a 2004 Cessna 182 Turbo Skylane from Van Bordel Aircraft in Arlington, Texas. 
The Cessna 182 is well known for its performance and safety record. This capable cross-country machine can easily hold four full-grown adults. Its modern avionics from Garmin make this plane very easy to fly. This specific 182 is actually for sale with Van Bordel Aircraft. You can click the link in the description for more information. In this video, we're going to strap a few cameras on this beautiful Cessna 182 Turbo and go for a flight. We're going to put it through its paces and show you just how easy it is to fly. So let's talk to Dakota and learn more about her and this beautiful airplane. So I actually got started flying in high school. All right. Smash that like and subscribe button. Yeah, do it. <laughs> and thanks to our patrons for joining or coming out and joining us. Maybe you can join us next on the next flotilla. Go to patreon.com slash sailing doodles or become a channel member. Thanks, Amanda. Subscribe. All right, guys. We'll see y'all later.